Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Keith Edwards. And I'm Katie Fernett. And as we come on air tonight, Eau Claire police are continuing to search for an attempted homicide suspect from Madison who was spotted here earlier today. We'll go live to the scene of the car crash that started the search in just a minute. But first, a reminder of who police are looking for and why. Police are looking for Jerome Jacobs. He's wanted by the Madison Police Department following an incident Sunday night. Police were called to Madison's east side around 1045. When they got there, they found two people with apparent gunshot wounds. Cars in the area were hit by gunfire as well. Madison's Violent Crime Unit is leading the investigation. They say Jacobs is a person of interest in the case. They're considering an attempted homicide. Let's go live right now to the Randall Park neighborhood. That's where our own Elliot Adams is standing by. Elliot, what is the latest? Keith, Katie, I'm here at the 900 block of Lakeside Avenue. This is where law enforcement told us Jacob crashed his car this morning when law enforcement tried to pull him over. Earlier, residents told us that Jacobs went down that gravel road where he then got stuck and then fled on foot. Jacobs is still on the run and law enforcement say he does he may have a firearm on him. If you see him, do not make contact and instead call the police immediately. Back to you, Keith and Katie. All right, thanks, Elliot. Now, this is the area where police were searching earlier. It runs from Menominee Street to Lake Street and along Carson Park and encompasses the largely residential Randall Park neighborhood. As you heard Elliot say, Jacobs crashed his car when police tried to stop him. Eau Claire police quickly worked to alert the public and set up a search area. They asked the public to avoid that area. Businesses were told to shelter in place and lock their doors. Despite their efforts, Jacob wasn't found. Jacobs, excuse me, wasn't found and the shelter in place order was lifted after about 3 hours. And one of the businesses in the area was the Mayo Clinic building on Bellinger Street. As a precautionary measure, Mayo Clinic Health System Security locked down all of its locations in Eau Claire. According to a statement from the clinic's communication specialist, that lockdown was lifted when police notified them there was no longer a threat. We're told patient care was not impacted. Lakeshore Elementary School is also in the area, but luckily no students were in the building today. A spokesperson with the school district told News 18 there were some staff in the building who sheltered in place and no one was allowed inside until police said the situation was resolved. And Hobbs Ice Arena off Menominee Street also sheltered in place. At the time, patrons were asked to not come to the facility for pool passes, scholarships and other activities. After the recommended sheltering was lifted, Hobbs posted on Facebook that all scheduled activities for the afternoon and evening would continue as planned. Now, Governor Tony Evers was supposed to be in Eau Claire this afternoon. He was scheduled to speak at the Chippewa Valley Museum at 1 p.m., but canceled his visit because of this search. And we want to remind you one more time, Jerome Jacobs, who you see behind us, is still being sought by police at this time. When Jacobs fled the area and was last seen, he was described as having dreadlocks and wearing all blue clothing. Most importantly for the public, uh, if you see some suspi something suspicious, please let us know. Uh, contact our, the Eau Claire Communications Center uh, at 715-839-4972. Now Jacobs' connection to Eau Claire is unknown at this time. If you see him, do not approach him. He may be armed. Instead, call police. And we'll continue to bring you updates on air and on WQOW.com as we learn more.